Life wasn't easy. I was a freshly divorced duck. Not able to pay next month's rent. Not that I had paid for it this month yet. My brain felt foggy. And I was trying to remember. Where did all my money go? I had to retrace last night's steps. Won't be needing this badge anymore. I guess I can keep it as a souvenir. My new job as the duck detective isn't going any better, though. <sighs> well, if things keep going badly, I can always sell it online. No messages. This fresh smell. Oh, sweet smell. Bungee loaf. Oh, you keep me safe at night. <sighs> I took that photo of her in a secluded tulip field. We spoke for hours under the stars that night. And now, she doesn't even answer my texts. I can't believe Anna actually filed the divorce papers. Second overdue notice. I wonder at what point they start kicking people out. I have everything I need to solve this now. had a, a slice of bread in weeks. You have to believe me! <clears throat> oh. Yeah, you're speaking to the duck detective. Let's discuss this in person. I'll be there in an hour. I spent more than half of my remaining cash on the bus fare. And here I was, in front of their bus office. Some sort of rundown call center. I better crack this case, or I won't even have enough money to make it back home. New bus route starting in August. Visit the scenic mountains of South Sitia. I'd always tell Anna we'd go there one day. to the west and arrived here at three in the morning! And they don't even want to give me a refund. How much did you pay? Um, two schmark. <laughs> but that's not the point! It's about the principal. This office looks like it'll worsen my depression.
I could already tell based on her face that the receptionist was a tough one. She wouldn't make life easy for me. But I had to make my way into the office. It says, server room. It's locked. It's locked. I literally just told you you need to stay out. I'm the duck detective. I'm here to investigate a case. Okay. Do you work here? Uh, no. Well, then I can't let you in. But I've been hired by someone from their bus. Who hired you? Um, I didn't catch their name. Listen, buddy. You better get out of here, or I'll have to call security. There's always more to people than you might think. I should take a closer look and figure out what she's about. These are quite mundane. I'm surprised nobody wrote something more scandalous. Tomorrow is Friday. Need to remember to collect my dry cleaning. I should be able to figure out what's going on with her. I need to check my notes in the deduction section. why she's making such a face. I should try and cheer her up. You're still here? I'm just here to wish you a happy birthday. <gasps> How did you know? Just another one of Duck Detective's great deductions. Huh? Uh, anyway, that was really nice of you. No one else remembered. Can you believe it? If you know my birthday, you must have a connection to someone here. Here's the keycard to the office. You could have just told me you know someone here. 
Not sure why you acted so weird with all the detective business. Stained carpets and peeling wallpaper exuded a stench of stale coffee and abandoned dreams. I knew I couldn't stay long, or it'd rub off on me. This is the last straw! The Redderson needs to be fired! I'll see what I can do. Who are you? Do you have a problem? If you have one, just call our damn hotline. I'm Eugene McQuacklin, the duck detective. A client hired me to investigate a case. Why didn't you just say so? It's time we put an end to the awful lunch death. All we need to fire him is some evidence for the upper management. I'll be in my office. First, I had to find out who works here and what their jobs are. I needed to find my client as well. Thankfully, I remembered the piece of paper I had in my jacket from taking notes during the call. It's a list of all the bus drivers. The most busy driver out of all four seems to be Petrovich. Their buses don't go very far. one here in the operating office. Can you imagine? I plan all the bus routes and make sure the buses are on time. <laughs> Isn't that so cool? Don't you have an angry customer shouting outside about the buses being late? I, uh, er, really? Do you have any idea who picked me to investigate? <laughs> no idea, but I'm so happy you're here. I have a copy of your book. The early bird catches the criminal. Can you sign it? <sighs> I... <clears throat> yeah, I guess so. Woo! <laughs> Thanks so much, Mr. Duck Detective. I won't ever forget this. This will become a core memory. <sighs> the two desks on this side look unused. This is Fairbus. How can 
I help you? Ugh, this is the third time you're calling. I'm telling you, your ex-wife did not cancel your booking! She, uh, looks busy. I need to ask you some questions. No, I'm sorry, you can't take your 12 trombones on the bus. What? Can't you see I'm talking to a customer? It's company policy. Nothing I can do. Goodbye. Do you know anything about who called me here? What are you talking about? Listen, I have a million more emails to answer, and there are 50 people in the phone queue. I have worked 10 days in a row, including three night shifts, and Manfred still doesn't want to give me a raise! Just leave me a piece! So... You have no clues for me? What is your relationship with Sophie Windheimer? Excuse me for a second. Oh man, I don't know how I'd survive the office without her. Sucks that she's at the reception. I would have loved to have her in the office. I'm back. Yes, please collect your toddler from the bus station. PC is on, but the person who works at this desk seems to be on a break. They only have a single person answering the hotline right now? That's surprising. to her password. I don't think I have enough information to crack it yet. Sure, I'd feel particularly appreciated. <laughs> I shouldn't go outside yet. I need to find out who the people in this office are first. Did I remember to write down their professions and my deductions? In here must be the crime scene. First, I want to find out who the people in the office are. It will make things easier in the long run. I'll need to remember to write everything down in my deductions. The dimly lit room seemed to promise well-kept secrets and rumors. What a fancy nameplate. It says Ernst. It's a letter for an application for a promotion to senior customer service agent, signed by L. Ernst. What are you doing with my family's portrait? S sorry Is it 
normal to have a huge painting of your family in your office? Was it you who called me? No, I never heard of you before. That's unusual. It's good you're here, since there has been some unrest. What do you know about Laura Angst? Oh, she's a fantastic employee. She basically does the work of five people. How are the detective things going, Mr. Detective? It's Mr. McQuacklin. Right. Apologies. Uh, are you planning on staying in my office much longer? I'll have to inspect the entire premise to do my job correctly. <sighs> well, hurry up. What do you think about Manfred Ernst? Oh, he's a great guy. I just wish I'd finally get a raise. Yes, yeah, sorry, this is Bear Bus. Your bus will be three hours late. What do you know about Manfred Ernst? I think he likes me. He's the only one who doesn't shout at me. What can you tell me about Laura Angst? Laura needs to chill out. I do love her, but if she keeps living like this, she'll have a heart attack by 23. So, do you have an idea who would have hired me? It's about the incident, isn't it? Um, I'm sorry, no idea. It says server room. It's locked. Now that I had worked out these names, I was ready to check out the crime scene. Let's see where that lunch got stolen from. Then I could finally talk to my client. As soon as I entered the kitchen, the comforting waft of cheap white toast entered my nostrils. I knew I had to stay strong. This wasn't what I was here for. Stop eating the icing! Can't you wait a couple hours? Margaret, if it wasn't for these pants almost bursting, 
I'd have this for breakfast every day. Yes, yes. And you can have it and so much more later, when we're done preparing. I'm Eugene McQuacklin, detective, and I need to ask some questions. A detective? How exciting! What's the most gruesome murder you've seen? How many dead bodies have you encountered? No one died, but I investigated a case once where five little pigs robbed a bank. Caught them red-handed and got myself an article in the Ghost Times. They called it the Piggy Bank Case. Did someone get shot? What? No! Beaten up? Uh, no. Hmm. What do you think of Sophie Windheimer? She doesn't have the easiest life, you know. She just had a terrible breakup with her ex. But don't tell anyone! Can you tell me anything about Laura Angst? Oh, she's such a hard-working girl. I heard she secretly studies for her online bachelor's during work. You need to keep this a secret, though. Do you know anyone here who could have hired me? Hmm. To be honest, Everyone was quite shocked by the lunch theft. And no one told me they've called a detective! I don't know what's going on at all! Office parties are a bad idea anyway. They stopped doing them at the precinct after the, uh, jam incident. Gross. I doubt they washed their hands after leaving that greasy handprint. This must be the crime scene. This note is curious. Dishwashers broken again. What's wrong with these youngsters? Don't know how to treat things with respect. Why would they put the mugs in face up? Do you get along with Manfred Ernst? Hmm. He's a stubborn one. I do respect that. Would you say you enjoy Freddy Ferdersen's, uh, company? Huh. If anyone needs to learn to respect their elders, it's that moron. I'm a private detective, and I'm here to investigate a case. Is that so? I need to find my client. Do you know who it could be? Uh, Freddy's a bit of a weird one, so I'd imagine he would call a detective. 
Personally, I feel we're doing just fine. And don't need no messing about our business around here. Can you tell me more about Freddy Fredderson? Let me put you on hold while I find the route for you. Freddy? He gets paid more than me. Can you imagine that? What an incompetent waste of office space. Hello, this is Laura again. I checked the bus routes and found that... What can you tell me about Margaret Whitlock? She gets really angry with me when I don't return mugs to the kitchen. Um, why don't you just return them? I do! Uh, just not every day. cold air ruffled my feathers, and I wondered what kind of sorry soul was standing all alone in the rain. Someone left their bag here. Ugh. It's full of dirty chim clothes. Hey man, this isn't the bus stop. You'll have to walk south to the central bus station. What? I'm not here to take a bus. <laughs> now that I had everyone's name and job, it would be easier to figure out what was going on. What do you think of Sophie Windheimer? <sighs> Man, I wish she'd let me talk to her. Do you, um, like Freddy Frederson? He's a pretty funny dude. Loves to rant about detective novels. What do you know about Rufus Sedaris? I don't think he likes me very much, to be honest. But then, doesn't feel like he likes anyone at this office. Hmm... Except for Margaret, I guess. Do you think they have a thing going on? <sighs> I don't work here. I thought you were a detective. I'm investigating a case here at Bearbus. Oh, uh, do you mean the lunch that got stolen? Exactly. You know who called me? 
Nah, too busy minding my own business. I don't talk much with the customer service folks. Do you know anything about this bag? Oh, it's really strange. Things in it disappeared, and others appeared. Very suspicious. <sighs> what are you even talking about? Is this your bag? No. <sighs> Everyone here is being really unhelpful. Get along with Boris Petrovich? He's a chill guy. I take the bus sometimes to go to bouldering conventions, and then we get to chat. Is this your bag? Huh? No, mine's over there. The one with all the salami? <laughs> yeah. Why do you need so much salami? That's not mine. It was just there. A really nice surprise. feeling you're not enjoying my company. Not particularly. What is Rufus Sedaris like? Uh, not the greatest janitor, but he came with the building. What can you tell me about Boris Petrovich? He's uh, not the most reliable worker, uh, but it's difficult finding replacements nowadays. Are you getting along with Rufus Sedaris? You know, the two of us are from the older generation. Which means we understand each other well. He is quite harsh towards the younger ones, though. Do you know whose bag this is? Isn't that... Freddy's? What is your relationship with Margaret Whitlock? She's a true sweetheart. We have our weekly mahjong evenings. Do you know anything about this bag? Why are you going around pushing bags into people's faces? Ugh, what's that awful smell? It's, uh, dirty gym clothes. PC is on, but the person who may only have a single person, that's surprising. needed to discuss the case with her. You're my client? Why didn't you tell me? Can I put you on hold for a second? Ugh, what? Well, you should have told me you're the duck detective. What are you? I'm a duck. I'm wearing a trench coat. So is Freddy getting fired or what? <sighs> I'm uh, working on it. Ugh, it can't be that hard. Sorry, I'm back. Yes, let me walk you through the booking process. It was time that I found out what happened with the lunch theft. And what they were planning in the kitchen.
Margaret was planning a surprise birthday party for Sophie. I see. <laughs> he didn't actually forget her birthday. As I thought, Freddy Fredersen was actually being framed. <laughs> this office wasn't as boring as it looked. When Freddy took the bus back and he went to pick up his luggage, he must have picked up the wrong bag. This happened because there was another bag that's identical to his. The bag that he picked up belonged to the Salami Bandit! This made him a target. And to get rid of Freddy, the Salami Bandit decided to frame him. Everyone! It's time for... You Know What! Okay, get into position. I just texted her, so she should be here in a... Huh? What's this? Surprise! Oh, uh, surprise! Uh, no way. This is all for me? Huh? A letter? Uh. Oh. Salami? What a terrible present. No, you silly idiot! The real present got stolen and switched for salami! It's the Salami Bandit! I saw an awful lot of high-grade salami in Fredrickson's bag. And now there's no question who the perpetrator is. I've been telling you all along, we can't trust Fredrickson! By the end of the day, he'll be fired. Mark my words. Seems like a bit of an overreaction to a present being stolen. Or is there more to it? Special thanks to my patrons, Justin Wood, Hobbs, and Koopy Vegeta. You can join my patrons at patreon.com slash holdengatsby, check out my TikTok and Twitter at holdengatsby, and follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash holdengatsby. Don't forget to subscribe to all of my channels, if you want more you can watch my last video now, but if not, then thanks for sticking around, bye.